Hey what's up guys this is Nayashek from blogtut.com and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to create the perfect business website using WordPress and Avada theme. And if you guys watch the complete tutorial I can guarantee you one thing that by the end of this tutorial you will be an expert in creating website using WordPress and Avada theme. Because in this video I'm gonna show you how to do that the easy way. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's see the demo website which we have already created. So as you can see guys on your screen, this is the demo website which we'll be creating in this particular video. At the top, we have a header, we have our icon, our logo over here. Then there is a menu and an important, in fact, a very important button over here which says get code. We'll see more about this button later on in this video. Then we have a full width slider with a title, subtitle and two different call to action buttons and with obviously two different designs. Then we have a next section which is also a very beautiful section this says do you have a construction project we can help with so basically we are just ensuring and motivating the customer or the visitor to just click on this call to action button okay then the third section is this one which has a title a separator subtitle and four different features option with logo and if you see with different designs when you hover this you see different designs it rotates and then you know color changes and so on so we'll see how to create all these things the easy way okay then we have this counter as you can see when you scroll down the counter starts you have a logo a title subtitle which says a counter for example we have 172 trained professionals okay so obviously you can create all these things we have a very beautiful background image also and as you can see this elegant design this really looks awesome okay we'll see more designs like this in the video then the next section is uh, the explore recent work this is basically the portfolio section we'll see how to create these portfolios okay then the next section is our core value section as you can see we have used some really beautiful colors and beautiful icons and when you hover over this as you can see a very beautiful animation as well okay so we'll see how to create all these things later on then this is another section obviously with a background image which is a testimonial section we'll see how to do all these things the easy way okay then this is the latest news section this is basically the posts uh, the posts that we have created the articles or post which we'll be creating in this particular video okay then the last section is this one the trusted partner section this is actually a slider it has all the details in fact all the logos of the partners or the clients with whom you work with okay then we have this footer which is divided into four different sections this is a very short description about your website with a logo and a call to action button then this next section is a tweet section and the third section is contact us today section this section basically considers or consists of all the different information related to your website or related to your company then the last one is a map a very small and beautiful map we'll see how to do all these things okay now let's see how our portfolio looks like so just click on this okay so this is how our single portfolio would look like okay if you notice guys we have the same header uh, throughout the website because i think this really looks beautiful okay we have a uh, different titles for all the different pages or different portfolios then we also have these two sections in all the pages okay but don't worry you don't have to create these things again and again there is a great feature in avada theme i'll show you how to just copy and paste in all the pages or wherever you need it okay so that is really awesome this is how our portfolio looks like as you can see at the top we have the title then we have this small separator this small separator really beautifies uh, you know everything then we have this uh, uh, very short description about this project the end we have this project details over here the date client project type contract and obviously you can change all the text from here it's all up to you then we have a photo gallery as you can see over here when we hover this everything changes and we can see the animation which is very beautiful obviously we have more uh, animations uh, okay so you can change different animations according to your need then the last section on this page is a very important section if you see get a code today with this contact uh, form we'll see how to create this contact form okay and we'll see how to create this whole section you know this section is really beautiful uh, we can see a background image and then there is a, lo a lot of padding or gap from all the sides and then the and in the middle we have this contact form okay 
so this was our portfolio page this is how our single portfolio looks like now let's see how our about us page looks like so again we have a header with a title subtitle okay then we call to action button then at the first section this is a title separator subtitle and an image related to your website or related to your business obviously then we have our meet our team section so basically you can have your guys your team over here so you can have their image you can have their name their designation their social profile and a very short description about them then the next section is the recent work section this is the same uh, section that we created in the home page so we won't be creating it again and again we'll just copy the whole section and paste it over here that is really easy okay this is also the same okay all these things are basically once you create the home page most of the things will be just copy and paste so that would save a lot of your time okay now let's see the services page again we have with the header with beautiful title subtitle and obviously you can have your own color combination over here i have selected this color you can select different color so this is our services we have taken this design this is the tabs design as you can see when we click on different tab a different service comes up okay so new homes tomorrow's home today so this is how your services page would look like now let's see the work page so this is our work page as you can see a beautiful work page these are basically our portfolios so we have some big portfolios over here you know we have divided them into two different columns now this is our blog page the articles page as you can see this is the thumbnail we have the title uh, so some excerpt author name and all these information over here okay and different blocks obviously now let's go to the get code page according to me the most important page okay this page is further divided into two different sections. as you can see this section we have all the you know location information our branch information for example london office new york office singapore office and here we have a contact form as you can see title separator subtitle and the contact form at the bottom Okay guys, this was a very short demo of the website that we are going to create. If you understand the concept, if you know how to use the Avada theme, then you can obviously create different designs according to you. Okay, so let's get started with the website. To create any kind of website, we need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting account. For both domain name and hosting account, I prefer TMD. So what you can do, just open a new tab, type in blogdo.com slash TMD and press enter. Once you do so, you will be redirected to this particular page. Now let's scroll down. As you can see here, we have three different plans and why do I use TMD and why do I recommend others to use TMD? There are many different reasons, not one. Okay, so first of all, this is not just any common shared plan uh, wherein, you know, you have a shared plan wherein uh, many people are using the same exact plan. So this is not that kind of plan basically. And the most important and the most awesome feature of TMD is that it has SSD instead of HDD space and if you go and search on google ssd versus hdd web hosting you will know the difference between both these things okay let's see anyone let's see the first result okay as you can see in this result guys uh, the speed difference is given in hdd you can get the speed of 150 uh, mb per second wherein in ssd you can get the speed of 540 mb per second sometimes believe me guys you will get 20 times more faster performance than hdd okay and your higher is better and as you can see the difference over here you can go ahead do your own research and when you're satisfied just come back over here okay and not only that see many companies give ssd space nowadays but this company is amongst the very few companies that gives unlimited ssd space and at this small price so this is just awesome and it also gives you a free domain for example the domain which i am using nayashik.com is a free domain given by these guys okay you have premium support cpanel optimum cash and you also have a wildcard ssl for example here as you can see this green socket this lock bar and it says https so you get this for free uh, whereas in the open market you would have to spend around of uh, maybe 40 to 50 dollars just to get this ssd so you're saving a lot of money over here you have these spam experts to help you okay then you have 50, uh, 60 days money back guarantee 
So this is just amazing. But if you are a HostGator fan, then don't worry guys, there is a link in the video description below that would redirect to HostGator. So you can use that link and sign up with HostGator. And I have also given a coupon code over there. So that coupon code will give you a huge discount on HostGator. So make sure you check out the uh, description below okay but i would recommend going with tmd you can select any one of this plan i would not not recommend the summer cloud because it has only one website hosting whereas in rain cloud and storm cloud you can host unlimited website okay so you can have 10 different website and host them in this same plan okay so you don't have to purchase a new plan every time you create a new website so you can click uh, on any one of them rain cloud or storm cloud i'll click on storm cloud because at present i'm click uh, i'm using this storm cloud option so just click on this sign up button now here you have to type in the domain name which you want for free for example you can type in any domain name for example i'm typing nayashik onecom and just click on proceed okay now here you have to uh, enter all the information the basic information like your first name last name email address phone number and so on and the next section is the payment information section you can type in you know you can if you want to make payment through credit card or debit card then you can use this you can also pay through paypal so you you, you get two varieties over here then this is also a very important section the purchase information make sure you untick this okay this is not very important but if you guys want you can tick mark this but uh rest all the things i would not recommend you to tick any one of this uh, and if you require any one of this in future you can purchase them later on but now we don't require all these things okay then we have this promo code over here now just enter nayar yt over there n a double y a r y t and click on apply this would give you seven percent of this purchase okay so basically seven percent is the higher dis highest discount that tmd gives okay so you're getting the highest discount possible using my coupon code okay now just tick mark this i had agreed to the tmd hosting terms of service and click on this checkout button Oh okay, yes, once you do so, you'll receive a very important email from TMD hosting. This email is really important. It has all the important information like your username, password, your web servers, your, you know, control panel link and so on. So make sure you save all this information somewhere. You can take a printout uh, of this thing. You can forward this mail to different email addresses if you own more than one email address. So whatever you feel is safe, you can do that. Okay. Now what you have to do is click on this control panel link, open this link in a new tab basically your control panel link is nothing but your domain name slash cpanel for example if my domain name is nayar.com then it is nayar.com slash cpanel okay then from here just copy and paste in your username and password okay so paste your username and password password over here and click on this login button okay guys this is your cpanel it has many different options many different features but what you have to do just scroll down and go to this section the softaculous apps installer section and click on this wordpress because now we'll be installing wordpress on our website okay now click on this install now button okay now from here select your domain name okay and delete this wp okay so make sure the indirectory thing here is empty there is nothing there in this one okay it should be empty and you can change your site name and site description from here but we can do this thing later in the website okay so it's not necessary we can do it later on now here is a very important thing you have to choose in your username and password so make sure you choose some really tough uh, username and password which is very difficult to you know guess or very difficult to remember for different guys not for you obviously and obviously write down your username and password whatever you set over here somewhere that would be really helpful okay now delete this email address and type in uh, email address which you have access to with which you use regularly okay so make sure you do this thing this is also very important this will help you in bad times okay now after doing all these things just click on this install button and as you can see guys it took around four to five seconds to install wordpress on our website now you here you have two different links your website link and you also have your administrative url link okay so what you have to do just click on this link administrative url link 
and open this link in a new tab. Well guys, as you can see, you are already logged into your dashboard. Now the first thing which I would recommend is to uninstall all the things which you don't require. For example, the plugins and uh, uh, the themes. So from the left hand sidebar, you will see this plugins over here. Just click on that. And we don't require both these things. So just tick mark over here. It will select both the plugins or as many plugins as it is there. Okay, now from bulk auction. First select deactivate but both the theme are already deactivated so I'll click on delete. Click on apply. Okay, now go to appearances. Click on this 2015 theme. Click on delete. We don't need this. Same thing for this one. Okay, now we have to install our theme. Okay, so as I said you earlier we will be using the Awada theme. So for that open a new tab. Type in blogtocom slash awada okay, and press enter. Well, guys, once you do so, you will be redirected to this particular page, a very important page. Okay, now here, as you can see, guys, Awada is the number one selling theme of all time. Okay, it has sold more than 3,50,000 copies. That is just a, a just an insane number, my friends. 3,50,000 of copies have been sold by these guys and you can see their rating 4.77 that is awesome more around 20,000 people have rated them so this is just amazing you have no doubt whatsoever for this theme okay this is just an amazing number one selling theme of all time so what you have to do is just have to click on this button which says buy, the, buy theme I won't be doing that because I have already bought this theme. So let me show you what comes next. Okay. So once you click on that buy theme button and make the payment, you will get uh, this file over here. The down this is how your downloaded file will look like. But this is not the file that we have to upload actually. Okay. What you have to do open this file. Okay. And you can extract this file. Okay. So we'll need the extracted file for this one. Now here is the extracted file, just open this. Now here you have this Awada theme, open this thing. And now here you have two different options, Awada and Awada child theme. So select this Awada theme and now you have to uh, make this a zip file, okay? So just do that. And now we have to upload this particular zip file, okay? So come back to your website, click on over here which says add new theme. Now click on this upload theme button, choose file and select that particular file. Okay. Now click on open, click on install now. Okay guys, by the time the theme is getting installed, you can do a few things. You can click on that uh, red subscribe button so that you don't miss any awesome stuff that I make. Okay. You can also give a thumbs up to this video if you like and you can also check out my other videos all uh, after watching this particular video obviously. Okay. So our theme has been successfully uploaded. Now it's time to activate the theme. So just click on this activate button. Now the first thing that you have to do is click on this registration button and register this uh, uh, theme okay i have already done that so uh, once you do so you'll say this thing congratulations your product is registered now you will have your uh, key in the theme file if you don't find that or if you are fi uh, finding it difficult to find that file then you can click uh, you can just contact the theme creator they will be more than happy to help you guys okay now once you do so click on plugins now one by one click on install now install all the plugins over here Okay, now click on this return to required plugin installer. Okay, so I'll pause this video and I'll uh, install all these plugins and then I'll come back. Okay. Okay, guys, once you install all the plugins, click on over here which says Fusion Patcher. Okay, now one by one we have to apply patch to all these things. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll click on this apply patch button. And it will fix that problem okay now i'll fast forward this video just to save your time
Oh yeah, so we are done with this. Now what you have to do, let's see how our website looks like right at present. So how are you? And open this visit site link in a new tab. Oh yes, this is how our website looks like at present. If you see the the fonts uh, used over here is different okay from the fonts which is used in this demo website you can see the menu bar the size of the menu bar is different this size is really small whereas this is quite bigger and everything uh, basically is totally different so let's see some basic settings which we have to do okay so again come back to the dashboard and under awada you will see this theme theme options just click on that okay now click on this menu button over here now here the main menu height is set to 84 by default now change that to 130 okay now click on this arrow because when you hover any of this menu you can see a small arrow you know below that menu item okay so the uh, that is what that arrow does okay now come back to the bottom till you find uh, this main menu typography or typography whatever you say okay now from font family select Montserrat M O N T S E R R A T okay this one from backup font family select the first one Arial Helvetica sans serif normal 400 and letter spacing will be one pixel okay so make sure you do all these changes and also make this thing 14 instead of 13 pixels or if you, uh, you know, just keep it to 13 pixels that uh, absolutely fine There's nothing uh, wrong with that but I'll just make that 14 okay now here we have main menu of font hover color so when we hover this menu we don't have any menu over here but for example when you hover this menu as you can see the color changes to yellow so what you have to do we have to do that this to yellow okay and if you can have your own color you can select any color yellow blue red and make that color constant uh, or consistent throughout the website okay so I have selected yellow so I'll put that color code over here fine now click on save changes now let's change the primary color okay at present the primary color by default the primary color for this website is this color the green color so i'll change that to a uh, yellow color okay so go to this color so here now here you have this primary color as i said this green color is selected as primary color just open that and you can select any color from here as your primary color i am selecting yellow okay so i'll put the same code over here also and click on save changes now let's see some header settings so click on this header over here okay so first one is header position where do you want your header top left or right at present in this demo website it is at top not at left or not at right so top is fine you can select any one of this uh, if you want I have selected the first one so make sure you also select the first one okay then slider position below fine everything is okay click on save changes now under header you will see header styling just click on that okay now if you see over here our menu starts from here okay but in the demo website it starts away earlier than this one okay so what you have to do just click on over here and make this thing enable this thing 100% header width but if you do 100% header width your menu uh, your icon will show up here uh, at the extreme left we don't want that we want some gap so what you can do just type in 4% over here so we want 4% of gap both at the left and at the right hand side okay so as you can see there is small gap over here and there is small gap over here you can increase or decrease this gap is it is all up to you it is not that uh, throughout the website whenever i am using a number you can play around with that with that number in padding or margin whatever it is okay and select your own thing whichever you like now click on this save changes button now let's change this logo and fav icon so again come back over here and click on this logo button now you can select logo left right center whatever you want okay and you what you have to do just select 20 pixels top and 20 pixels bottom margin okay 31 is way more so just select 20 pixels from here and change this logo your default logo so okay so this is the default logo we want to change this so just click on this remove okay and upload 
now upload your own file now the all the images all the codes all whatever i have used in this particular website in this particular demo website i have given that on my website if you go to my web, website blogtool.com i have given all the resources on that particular website okay as you can see this is the one if you click on this and by the way i have given a link which would uh, when you click on that link it would redirect you directly to this particular page okay so make sure you click on that link and here you have this images download when you click on this button you will uh, download a file okay which would look something like this let me show you something like this okay so when you open this file or extract that file you have all the images all the css code which i have used in this particular website okay so make sure you download this image you have the tmd link host creator link you have your coupon code for tmd host creator everything you have awarda theme link also over here and obviously you can again if you have not yet subscribed to my channel you can click on this button to sub, uh, subscribe to my youtube channel okay so make sure you download all the images okay so i have already done that so just click on this upload files select file okay now select that image so let's select the logo image so this is the logo image okay now click on select click on save changes now let's select a fav icon by the way what is a fav icon see from if you see my website over here there is a small logo at the top so that is a fav icon that is very useful okay so don't just think that is just nothing a random thing that is not any random thing that is very useful okay so just click on this upload button again upload file and select your own fav icon whatever you want okay now select any image from here and your fav icon should be a square image it means the length and the width all should be uh, same okay now click on this select button now click on save changes okay now a very important thing as you can see as i uh, said earlier the uh, the font or the text used over here is totally different from this website and as you can see the text we used over here is also very small whereas with the text which we have used in our demo website is big quite clear and it really looks cool okay so now let's change all the typography settings so from here select typography okay so the first one is body typography and throughout the website we have used the railway uh, text or the railway font which is r a l e w a y so type in that and select this one and backup font family will be the first one arial helvetica sans serif it will this is also similar throughout the website okay now select the font width and style just click on this and go to medium which is medium 500 okay now change the font size to 15 pixels and line height to 2.27 okay it is not necessary again i am saying that you have to do all the same numbers okay this is just the numbers which i uh, which i have used in my website so if you want the exact same uh, font exact same settings over here then you can put this number or you can play around with, with this number okay now once you do so just click on save changes now click on this header typography so let's change all the header settings okay so again this is h1 which is header one so just select railway from your font okay and backup font family arial helvetica and font weight it should be extra bold because that is h1 the biggest font okay extra bold 800 now font size should be 34 pixels line height 1.4 which is fine letter spacing should be 2 pixels okay and margin top is fine 0 0.67 em bottom also 0 0.67 em okay now let's come to header 2 settings again select the railway font from here okay font family will be same okay now now for all the h2 h3 h4 h5 these three settings will be same in fact these four settings will be same font family backup font family font width and style and font subsets okay we just have to play around with size so h2 size will be 32 pixels okay line height will, um sorry 32 pixels over here line height will be 1.3 okay 
one pixel letter spacing and you can change uh, see all the changes over here you know when you change this settings you can change see the changes over here margin top will be 0 em and margin bottom will be 0 0.5 em okay as you can see over here now let's come to h3 headings 3 settings again the four settings will be same as i said you earlier so railway first one aerial normal latin that is fine now h3 size will be 20 pixels so just type in 20 over here 1.5 is fine okay letter spacing one pixel and margin top margin bottom should be one em which is fine okay now let's come to h4 setting select the same font font family this is all fine now this should be 18 pixels 1.5 line height which is fine zero uh, letter spacing again fine and rest all these settings over here is fine now let's move on to h5 okay now change this font uh, size to 16 pixels line height to 1.4 pixels 1.4 i'm sorry and letter spacing will also be zero here and this is fine margin top and bottom is fine now the last one h6 again select the same font family everything is fine now change this to 12 pixels okay this this will be 1.2 line height letter spacing will be one pixel don't forget to type this px over here okay Th that is very important and decrease this to 0 0.4 em okay this was very important guys if you want to maintain the same font settings which i have maintained in my website because if you don't do this setting the fonts on your website will look totally different from mine okay now here you have three different settings post uh, title font size post title line height post title extra font size okay just type in 24 pixel for the first one 36 pixel for the second one and 30 for the last one okay now click on save changes okay guys so with this we complete all the basic uh, settings that we needed to do now let's start creating our website okay so let's first create this uh, slide over here so again come back to your dashboard and here you'll see something called fusion slider how about that and select the second option which says add or edit sliders okay click on that now here you have to add name the slider you can name it anything for example i'm naming it just slider okay and make sure this width is 100 percent and you can change the height i have used 500 pixels as height so you can also have the same settings okay now rest every all the settings over here are fine just click on add slider okay so you should see your slider over here now we have created the slider now we now we have to add some slides in that okay so from here select the first option which says add or edit slides now click on this add new slide button now let's add this slide okay so name anything for example let's name it slide one okay background type it is image as you can see there is an image in the background so make sure it is image okay content alignment here it is center all the content is in the center so make sure here it is center now in the heading area so this is what you have to type in the heading area what do you want to type just type it over here and before and after this just type in the strong code okay with s-t-r-o-n-g okay type in this code this code will you know just increase the weight of this uh, uh, as you can see over here it is bold so it will make it bold okay now heading separator none heading font size none now heading color as you can see this is white color so just type in the code the code for white color is hashtag three times f or six times f whatever you want okay now we have heading background just uh, we don't want any heading background so select this no 
heading background color no caption area so this is what will come in caption area okay so just copy this or just type in any text you want over here okay now caption color as you can see this is the yellow color so just type in the color code over here fine caption background no we don't want any caption background now here it comes the button text over here so we have two different buttons so as you can see now let's see all the settings over here i will i will zoom this so that you can see uh, what what all i am doing over here the first one is fusion button link so between these two in, uh, inverted commas you have to uh, type in the link uh, where you want this button to redirect to okay for example when a person clicks on this button if you want him to redirect to, to uh, redirect uh, to some page then you can enter the link of that page okay or if you don't want him to uh, link uh, to redirect to anything just type in this hashtag over there okay now color it is typed as default just delete that default and type in custom okay when we type in custom we have the facility we have the authority to add our own color okay now size will be extra large so just type in x large okay okay now type uh, shape just leave all those things title leave this thing gradient color okay so delete this pipe icon from here and type in the color you want for example the gradient color for the first button is black or you can say dark gray okay so for code for that is hashtag three times three okay now gradient hover color if you see when i hover over this it becomes yellow so it is yellow so delete this pipe icon and type in the code for yellow okay now it is accent color accent is nothing but your text okay so text color is white and when i hover this button text color becomes black as you can see here it is white but when i hover this button the text becomes black so let's do those changes in the first uh, accent color type in the white code and accent hover color black code okay okay rest everything is fine border width just make this as zero we don't want any border okay now just change this text from your button text so it would say button text over here but we want to say explore recent work so just type in explore recent work or whatever you want over here okay fine now same thing you have to do over here okay and okay just type in whatever you want Okay, custom over here then size will also be x large for this one also okay then gradient color this is just op opposite as you can see uh, this is uh, the color is yellow but when we hover this the color becomes uh, black and the text color is black and when we hover uh, over this button it becomes white okay so let's do those changes the gradient color is yellow And when we hover over that it becomes black okay accent color is black but when we hover over that it becomes white so code for white okay and the this is zero pixels we don't want any border okay now changing the text this says get a code today okay so we'll be linking this button to get a code page okay that we'll do later on when we create that page fine guys now just hover here select this fusion slider okay now click on this set featured image and upload this image okay now let's search for that image where it is okay home slider this should be the one just click on open okay so this is the image just click on this set featured image okay now click on publish okay guys so with this we have successfully created this slider now let's create a page and add this slider and start creating all these things over here okay so come back to your dashboard and at the left hand side you will see these pages so hover pages and click on this add new button now let's name this page as home page so just type in home page 
okay now from your template select 100% width scroll down and you'll see this sidebar option over here at the bottom with under fusion page options select this select fusion slider okay then select this slider from here this is the one which we created now go to this page option and type in 0 0 in both the padding top and padding bottom okay now click on this last option which says page title bar select this and click on hide i'll show you what these things are okay first one is very much clear when we select this we see this slider okay now second one is there is by default 55 pixels top and 40 pixels uh, bottom padding we don't want that we want to make it zero because once you do so you know you have a lot of gap uh, both at top and bottom so we don't want that that's why we put zero and the third one we don't want a title bar for example the title of this page is home page so what happens you know when you cre uh, create create this page here at the top you will uh, you'll see home page written we don't want that we want our menu and directly the slider okay so we don't want any gap between that that's why we have selected that we'll be using that title thing in when we start creating our post so you'll see the changes okay now click on this use fusion builder a very good feature uh, i would say a very strong feature of uh, avada theme is that they have their own builder and which is very good we'll we'll see how this works this is very easy okay so just stay with me now let's see the first section this is the first section okay now let's create this section click on this add container so basically first let's understand what we are doing over here see we are adding a container that is we are adding a section okay so what happens first we add a section for example you can consider this as example for example this is a slider so basically this is a container as you can see see my mouse so this whole section okay this whole section is a container and in that container we can have you know different uh, columns one column two column three column and in that can container we can add some thing for example let's come over here as you can see this is a container this whole section is a container and in that container we have four different columns okay so that is how it works we, you add a container and under that container you add your element you, you add your whatever object you want to add okay so let's first add a container or a section as you can see now you can select what you want to add one column two column yeah different types of columns so we just want a single column over here because as you can see we have one simple thing we don't have two three four th uh, things over here so we'll need one single column and we'll done we'll be done okay now in this what you have to add you have to add some element so as you can see here there is a simple text so we need to add a text for that we use a element called text block so select this text block type in over here as you can see my mouse and then select this text block now type in this thing whatever you want to type over here and click on this align center that will align this statement in center like we have over here okay now click on this save button now let's add this button okay so again click on a container single column add element and search for button okay select this one button url okay where you want this button to redirect to now button text it says get a free code so type in get a free code over here okay now leave this as it is alignment center as you can see the button is aligned at center not at left or right okay now scroll down rest everything is fine now click on this design section now at present it is button style is dis, uh, default just select custom because we want to change uh, the color or uh, everything as you can see over here the button color is uh, black and when we hover it becomes white so first one is button color so just type in the color code for black okay And this is gradient top hover color okay so when we hover this button it becomes white so type in white or you can just select this white from here also okay so you can do this thing also you can select this white from here it will become white now accent color accent hover color as i uh, said you earlier also accent is just the text so text color is white and when we hover it becomes black 
so accent color is white so select white from your hover color is black so select black from your okay now button type is default button border width make this as 2 okay for example when you hover this as you can see after this a white section there is a black border okay and that is two pixels if you put one pixel it will be more thin if you put three pixels it will become more bold okay so i have put two two pixels now button size at present it is set to large you can uh, make this extra large okay and you can also add add an icon but we won't do that over here just click on save and you can also add some animation obviously like bounce fade whatever you want okay from left from right from top the uh, all this type of animation speed of animation so you can also add animation to all the element okay now once you are done just click on save now there is again some more settings to do which is the row and the uh, column setting but i won't show you that now first let's see how this website looks like at present just click on this publish button now open this link in a new tab well, yes, as you can see, this is how it looks like at present. I forgot to put this uh, background color over here. Uh, so let's do that. And I also forgot to put one thing over here because our slider is not a uh, you know, full page slider. So there is an option for that. Let's correct these two uh, settings first. Okay, so come back to the over here and just click on this container setting in this pencil button. Okay, and go to background select background color and type in the background color which you want okay you can select any color from here also and just click on save okay click on update now hover fusion slider and select the second option add or edit sliders if you remember we created this slider just click on this edit button and here there's an option where is that gone okay okay here it is full with slider just should, uh, tick mark this button and click on update now again come back to your website and refresh this page and both the things uh, should be uh, should be settled now okay so we have our full width slider over here and we have this thing but if you see uh, in the demo website this thing goes over to to this section okay but here it is not happening and also there is some gap at the top in this if you see there's some gap at the top whereas there is no gap over here we'll see all these things later on because now when i if i if i'll show you how to do that i'll just put in some numbers and you won't understand what's happening over there okay so what we'll do we'll create all these things and at the end we'll do all the uh, margin and the padding settings so that you can understand better uh, better because the main idea is to explain you guys and you should have you should know what you're doing you just have don't have to follow me when i put two pixels you put two pixels but you don't know why i'm doing that so that is not uh, what i want i want you to understand okay so i'll do that all these things later so that you can understand what's actually happening over there why we are putting this number why we are doing this and that okay now let's again click on uh, open this link in a new tab edit page okay now first let's see what is the next section this is the next section okay we have a title separator subtitle and then four different features over here okay so let's add that okay before doing that let me do one thing just click on this button save container okay now you can name it anything for example i am naming it as top one save container now click on this also save container top two okay okay save container name anything for example top two save container now why am i doing this See if I, if you uh, saw the demo website when we uh, when we are doing the tour of demo website, we have used these things in all the pages. So what we have done, we have saved these settings. Now when we uh, when we are, when we we'll create new page, for example about us page, then we don't have to create these things again. We will just you know import it from what we have saved. Okay, so that is very useful. Now let's create this thing, this section. Just click on this add container. Now click on this one column okay now click on this add element and as you can see it is a text simple text 
so just type in text block over here select this add this text this is center line so just click on this button click on save now next we have a separator okay so just click on this add element and search element type in separator this is the one style is selected to no style just click on that and select single border solid why we are selecting single border solid because here we have a single line a single solid line okay that's why now go to this design option okay separator color select the color of separator you want okay now margin put in zero top margin and 30 bottom margin because we want some gap below this as you can see below this separator there is some gap so we want 30 bottom margin border size should be 2 if you put 3 then this separator will become more uh, more darker if you put 1 it will become more lighter okay so we are putting 2 that is in middle now separator width okay put in 200 pixels okay now alignment is center as you can see it is aligned at the center that's why alignment is center click on save now click on again let's put this text over here so let's click on this element search for text block okay just type in this text now make this also center align click on save okay now there is one setting left but first let me uh, update this website and see how a page looks like then I'll show you that setting then you will understand it much better Okay, now let's refresh this page Okay, as you can see guys At present this looks really uh, No ugly, but we'll do all those settings later on as I said if you see over here This is in two lines and here it is in one single line and I think this looks really better So we'll do all these settings later after we create this page okay so that you know i will be able to make you guys understand why we are doing that setting and what changes uh, occurs when we do that setting okay now let's first create the next section this is the next section okay so let's create this come back to the dashboard click on add container select single column and in the add element search for flip box okay so this element's name is flip box okay now first option is number of columns so here we have four different columns okay so select four over here type in four over here now click on this edit button so we are editing and creating the first option this is the first option okay so just click on this edit item now first one it asks you for flip box front side heading so this is the front side and when we hover this we can see the back side okay so front side heading is buildings as you can see so let's type in buildings okay now flip box backside heading so backside heading is actually artfully crafted so let's type artfully crafted over here now this option is flip box front side content as you can see below uh, that building three lines that is the front uh, side content and this is the back side content okay so let me add same content over here also and over here also fine now background color front side as you can see uh, front side background color is light gray which is fine this is also light gray heading color front side is black which is fine here also it is black text color front side uh, is all uh, uh, light gray fine here also it is light gray now background color back side when we hover here as you can see the back side background color is actually yellow not green so let's change this just type in the code now heading color backside if you see backside the heading color is black here it is not black so let's make it black select this one okay now text color backside here is you know gray color so let's select gray color over here select anything like this okay now border size we don't actually have any border when we, if you see there is no border around it so just put in zero over here okay now it it is asking you for icon but after above that there is something called border radius okay so just type in round in that okay because as you can see there is a round okay now it is icon 
this is the building icon so search for building over here this is the one scroll down okay icon color as you can see over here icon color is yellow so select this icon circle yes okay if you see icon circle then i think we don't need this just delete this icon circle background color is black here also it is black so that is fine border color is black fine flip none rotate icon none uh, spinning icon none so everything here is now fine you can change the animation from here obviously now click on this save button so similarly you have to create click on this flip uh, add flip box and create three more so i won't be doing that because i have showed you how to create that and you know i won't waste your time and my time doing that thing again and again so what you can do is just click on this button clone items three times and you have all these things now what you can do just click on this edit button and just change the uh, title and the icon rest all the settings will be same okay so you're saving a lot of time now just click on this save button again update now again refresh this page so as you can see over here we have this thing okay now this also requires some settings that we'll do later on let's first see the next section so this is the next section okay a counter section with some background image and this design so let's add that come back to this home page click on add container okay click on this single column now first element is this one okay this design so this is section separator so search for section separator select this style will be big half circle okay and bottom okay so for when you are doing this for top you will select bottom and when you are doing this for bottom you will select top okay background color is white okay as you can see this is the background color actually if you see this over here is the background color okay now everything is fine just click on save now we have to add this uh, counters so just click on this add column single column okay now let's add this counters so select add element search for counter counter boxes this is the one number of columns we have four different columns so select four Con uh, counter box title font color so here it is yellow so let's select yellow from here fine counter box title font size okay here it is 50 let's select uh, 60 okay counter box icon size if you see icon is slightly bigger than this font so let's select 70 just one size bigger than that now the next option is counter box icon top so here we have uh, the icon at the top so obviously here it will be yes we want the icon at the top counter box body font color okay so there is uh, this is the body font color so here it is white so let's select white now counter box uh, body font size 13 pixel is fine i guess counter box border color we don't want any border color so just select this and the second one just drag it to the bottom okay now everything else is fine now click on this edit button to edit uh, or to create the first counter the counter value is the first option so here we have three five three four so let's put three five three four here okay now let's select the icon here it is briefcase so search for briefcase okay scroll down now your content goes here so content is planning application so just copy or type in anything you want over here click on save so similarly you can create four different counters and click on save now okay okay now let's add this background color okay this background image so for that just click on this pencil button this container setting go to background background image upload image and select 
the image you want as background so let's select this one click on open insert into page okay make sure it is center center no repeat fine just click on save again scroll up click on update again come back to your website refresh and let's see the changes okay as you can see this is the counter and we'll also add some padding top bottom later on now let's see the next section okay so this is the recent work section but before we create recent work these are actually different portfolios we'll have to create different portfolios okay so now before creating portfolios let me tell you uh, let me show you all these things which i have uh, which i promised for example adding uh, some padding at the top making this thing over here okay all these settings now come back over here now first what we have to do we have to add some space at the top like we have below this uh, content so we want some yellow space above this content also okay so for that select the content so this is uh, the content over here and click on this column settings go to design and at the top padding put in 50 pixels okay now click on save now what we are saying we are saying that uh, about this uh, column we want 50 pixels of padding okay now after you do so just click on update now refresh this page now as you can see guys this looks awesome so that's why i didn't do this setting at that time because at that time i would have just entered 50 and clicked on save and you guys would have just wondered why did i put 50 over there so this is the reason why now let's uh, take this thing uh, above over here so let's do that also now select this one okay this button click on this uh, edit button design now go to margin top and put in minus 22 okay if you put only 22 okay then it would come down actually because it would add 22 pixels margin at the top so this button would come down but we are putting minus 22 so we are saying move upwards 22 pixels okay so that would really help minus 22 margin top click on save again update refresh this page and as you can see over here we have that beautiful design okay now let's add some gap between these two the button and this uh, section over here and i also uh, remember one thing i actually saved that uh, container at that time but let's delete that container because at that time we haven't added these settings okay so what we'll do we'll delete that and again add the container but before that let's add all this spacing over here so we'll need some space about this about this section okay so for that come over here select this column because we want some space above this select design and select 50 pixels top padding okay now click on save again click on update come back to your website refresh and as you can see we have some space over here okay now here as you can see this looks really awkward whereas here this looks really awesome okay so let's do some changes with this also come back to this page home page scroll down select this section click on this edit button okay design now in the padding uh, left and right put in 8 percentage okay and click on save okay now click on this container setting and make this thing 100 percent width okay and set column a to equal height yes and click on save click on update as you can see now at present this starts from here but why did we do uh, why we did that 100 percent with because we want this to start from here but again we we said don't start from extreme left or extreme right leave eight percentage of gap over here okay that's why we put all the three all those three codes okay i hope you guys understood why we put 100% width and those different paddings okay this looks awesome now now let's add some padding over here also at the top and at the bottom so again come back over here scroll down select this section uh, where is it counter box so we want some padding above counter box and below counter box okay design 
let's add 90 pixels top and 50 pixels maybe bottom click on save again update come back to the website refresh and we should see the changes now okay guys as you can see over here now we have a lot of gap nice looking section over here okay so i hope now you understand why we put those numbers over there okay now let's create uh, these portfolios before creating anything else okay so let's start creating these portfolios for that again come back to your website how our portfolios click on portfolio categories so first we'll have to create a category then we'll add a portfolio under that category so you can create a portfolio under any name and under any name category for example let me create a commercial category okay and just click on add new category and you have successfully created a category it is that simple okay now under portfolio just click on add new to add a new portfolio now let's see how a portfolio looks like just click on this florida health facility okay so this is how it looks like okay now let's start adding that but again i forgot we had to you know copy and uh, copy these things save these things and uh, we saved the earlier version without gap so let's put the title uh, florida health facility okay now select this category commercial you can add new skills uh, tags from here if you want okay now scroll down over here okay in the portfolio now let's see all these uh, settings over here width of the uh, content so at present is set to full width if it is not set to will full width then gen then just click on this full width button use 100 percent width page it is set to no but we have to select yes okay show project description title no we don't want that okay so show project details no we don't want that because we'll be adding all these things manually okay so we don't want all these things disable uh, first featured image yes okay then what we have we have all these things then open link a in new windows you can set this to yes show related projects no hide them so social share box no hide them also then show previous next pagination no hide this thing also okay because we don't need these things we'll do, we'll be doing everything over here manually okay then go to page and again zero percent both uh, top and bottom padding page title bar hide this thing now publish this page now let's uh, first go to the home page which we created this page and copy these both sections and also copy this thing which which will which is very important and we'll need all these things again and again okay so click on these pages delete this page sample page you don't need this so just click on this tra trash button now edit this page home page which we created okay now let's scroll down so let's again add this uh, thing so just click on this save container and first delete top one and top two because we don't need that and now create create top one and top two that was all uh, you know without uh, all the settings padding settings so that's why we deleted now add this save container type in top two click on save container okay now add this also okay save this also this is also very important so you can just type in title for example okay this is also used throughout the website okay wait 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 we forgot one more thing uh, if you see uh, if you remember let's see if we if we have anything like that over here no let's see the home page and let me show you what we missed okay let's scroll down here if you see the this text everything do doesn't start from here you know it doesn't start from the beginning it starts from here and it's ends here okay so it is very short this is this has a very short column at the top okay so let's do that first then after that we'll add this title so let's delete first and do that setting first okay so what you can do just click on this uh, setting design okay then here we have this padding so under left and right padding type in 15 percent okay left and right 15 percent Now click on save, click on update. 
first let's update this page and see as you can see for at present it is like this and as you can see now this looks awesome we have some gap from both the sides okay now we can add this uh, or save this container okay scroll down now let's save this container click on save container type in any name i am typing title click on save container fine now again go to this portfolios click on portfolio from here edit this florida health facility now we can create all these things from here so in the demo website if you see uh, in the portfolio at the top there is a slider so you can create a new slider similarly which i showed you earlier how to create a slider for the home page similarly you can create a, a slider like this so what i'll do i won't use that slider i'll use the same slider which we put in home page okay so let's see let's minimize this we don't need these things okay let's see let's go to slider select fusion slider and we are selecting the same slider but you have to create a new slider for this page also okay now let's add this section okay let me show you how to uh, copy and paste from that we have uh, saved this section if you remember so just click on container and now click on library container select top one fine now again click on container from your library container now top two fine now click on update now let's see the changes let's open this uh, link in a new tab okay guys it says page not found you know why because there is a mistake over here so what you can do just click on how are you click on this dashboard okay now go to settings and uh, permalinks click on this permalink under settings you will see permalinks how are that and click on permalinks and from here you have to select this thing post name okay common setting post name and click on save changes now let's cut this thing now again open this post in a new tab and now as you can see it is showing it is not giving us that same uh, error we can see the page and as you can see without creating we have we just copy and pasted everything from here okay now let's create the next section these are the two sections now this is the time we'll be using two uh, now till now we have used only single columns but now we'll be using multiple columns okay so how are you here click on add container and this is a three by four plus one by four container okay so select that here it is three by four one by four now here at the top we have a simple text so let's add that click on this add element search for text block just add this text and this is left aligned so we don't have to uh, click on this button again okay now there is a very small separator over here so let's add that click on this add element search for separator okay no style select single border solid okay design color okay now margin top margin bottom okay let's put 30 margin over here also border size 2 we don't want any icon for this now separator width just type in 30 pixels okay so this is because this is really small okay and alignment will be left not center now click on save again click on add element and let's see again we have some simple text so search for text block select this and add this text click on save now let's add these things over here okay so click on add element text block okay so let's add this thing now again click uh, we have to add this separator same separator so what i'll do i'll clone this separator drag one separator over here okay so as you can see now we don't have to create that separator again now let's add these things so again click on add element search for text block okay now add this okay paste it over here but sometimes what happens you know uh, we, you i am pasting but you won't be pasting you have to type okay so what you have to do first select the first one 
okay whatever whatever you're typing at the top and make sure bold is selected over here and over here heading 6 is selected but when i click over here i see some problem there is some problem going on i guess so what you can do you can click on this text okay and make sure delete all these things we don't require this okay now this date over here as you can see date and before this date you can just type in h6 and after this date you can type in this h6 okay and then this is common this is just simple text so, so this is how you do it okay now click on save now let's clone this thing two times so we have this okay now let's update and see the changes actually we have to do some changes for here also capping and so on but let's first see how it looks like okay guys as you can see this is how it looks like we need some space at the top and also if you see there is uh, some space over here but here it is very less space so let's add some space over here also okay so come back again okay how are you let's go to design add some top uh, 30 pixels top padding and as i said there is some padding at the right over here so let's add some padding at the right side maybe 20 pixels and click on save again and let's copy this thing one more time just click on update come back over here refresh the page and hopefully everything should be fine this time okay there is one problem we added 30 pixels at top over here but we didn't add 30 pixels over here in this top so that is creating some problem don't worry again come back over here select this column also and make this thing also 30 pixels top padding click on save okay now click on update now everything should be fine okay okay guys as you can see now this looks awesome now let's see the next section that we have to create we have to create this uh, section the uh, product uh, gallery section project gallery section a beautiful section so let's do that again come back to the portfolio page first there is a title and a separator so let's first add that click on add container click on single column click on add element search for text block just add this title project gallery now let's add this thing clone this thing the separator and bring this separator over here okay fine so we have the title we have this now let's add a new column and add all these images okay so what you have to do just click on add columns and here it is three by two i guess and one by two no, okay two by three and one by three i'm sorry okay so let's search for this is the one two by three one by three so it, in two by three this is the image so let's click on this add element and search for image frame select this image frame upload the image upload files select files let's see what image that was this is the image select this click on open and make sure in the size over here full size is selected okay click on insert into page okay now we have uh, frame style you can have different frame style you have hover style for example when i hover here you can see the image zooms in so let's select this uh, or lift up you can select anything okay there are different hover styles we don't want any, any borders so just put in zero and we want it uh, to be same like this so don't don't put any border radius if you want uh, you know to be round round image then you can put round over here okay alignment is fine everything is fine just click on save okay now let's add these two images over here so click on add element again search for image frame okay upload the image let's see this is the image click on upload files select files okay so this is the image i guess click on open insert into page okay save now click on element and add a separator 
why because if you see there is a small gap between both these images so a separator also does the work of you know adding gap it does the work of adding this kind of separator but also does the work of adding some gap okay so let us see how in this style this time select no style now go to design okay now in the margin bottom just type in 28 pixels or 30 pixels whatever you want okay now everything else is fine just click on save so we have some gap now again click on add element search for image frame select the image whatever you want click on upload image upload files select files and let's search for the next image this is the one click on open insert into page save okay let's edit and let's add that hover type also click on save let's update this image again come back over here upload and update this file and we should see the changes let's scroll down here as you can see we have this settings over here okay when we hover this it lifts up this is the and we have all those things over here we have this gap over here also fine so this looks awesome now let's see the next thing which we have to do so this is the next section but before creating this section we will have to create a contact form as you can see it is using a contact form so let's first create this we have updated this file now what we have to do just hover this contact and click on this add new file in a new tab so we will be adding a new contact form but you don't have to worry you don't have to do any coding or so on just go to the downloaded file here you will see this css folder open that there is a file named css open that again okay and here there is a code contact form code over here okay so just select this code from here copy it first name this contact form anything for example cf1 contact form 1 now delete all these codes and paste in your own code click on save fine and now this is the code this is the short code that we would be using to insert this code to in insert this contact form in our page okay so again come back to the portfolio page now let's first see what we have to do we have to add a section and then under that, that section we will have this thing okay so scroll down click on add container select us uh, no don't select this one why because as you can see there is a lot of gap over here at both the sides so for that what we will do we will select a special uh, column this time let's okay, see where 1 by that. 6 2 by 3 1 by 6 okay select this one now what you have to do just click on this element don't put anything over here okay don't need to put anything over here it will automatically uh, uh, say that 1 by 3rd 1 3rd of this thing is blank and here also it is blank now just add things over here in this column in this particular column and this is blank this is blank fine now click on this add element and let's add this thing this get a code today thing okay now click on and search for search for what tag tag something tagline box okay now background color let's see this is the background color the yellow color so put in your own color code fine shadow you don't do anything border size we don't want any border so zero okay highlighted border position not important but still okay center alignment content alignment should be center button link we don't want any button link tagline title just type in whatever you want over here it says get a code today so type in get a code today and you don't have to put anything over here in the tagline description and also in the additional content okay and put in zero margin top and bottom why because if you see this is a different thing this tagline is a different thing and this is a different thing okay let let me do one thing let's not put this we'll put this later on okay first let's see why do we have to put this thing okay so once you do so just click on save now click on element and now select uh, select this nested columns from here okay now select single column now why we select nested columns we'll see that again now click on this edit button okay now let's see what we have we have this thing we have a simple text so just add a new element 
search for text element text block just paste in this click on save then we have this contact form okay so what you have to do click on uh, element and search for code block so, okay code block now go to this page and copy this short code over here in, in the blue line over here you can see a very small short code just copy that paste it over here click on save okay again click on save fine do we have anything else no we don't have anything else actually there are a lot of things missing we do we didn't put any background color to this thing we don't okay so we'll see why we do that okay first let's add this thing the background image over here okay so click on this button background background image select any background image you want okay this let's select this one click on open now click on insert into page save and as i said i didn't put this thing uh background image over here just to show you guys and i also didn't put any zero margin because i want to show you what if you don't put that and why we do put that okay so that is very important to understand now let's first update this page come back oh yeah let's delete this we don't need no we'll need this thing later on so let's save this thing side come back over here refresh this page okay so let's see how this looks this is how it looks okay as you can see we didn't put anything over here that's why no margin so that's why it is touching at the bottom we didn't put any background color over here so this is how it looks now let's put a background color to this and again see how it looks like okay so we have to put a background color to this thing which includes this text box and the contact form so that's why we created a nested column okay so that we can apply a background color to both these things okay so click on this nested color uh, nested column setting click on this setting button over here now go to design background color type in f5 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 for very light gray color okay click on save save again click on update still there are a lot of things left but i'm showing you one step by step why we are doing all these things okay okay guys so this is how it looks like at present as you can see there is just no gap for this column for this thing so now by looking at this you can make some conclusion that what all things we'll need we'll need to add these things okay from here we'll need some gap for these things and we also need some gap at the top like we have over here some gap at the top okay so now let's do all those things one by one come back over here first select the tagline box okay and scroll down now here put in zero margin top zero margin bottom click on save what will this do this will delete all this gap between this yellow section and this section and it will add both this thing up okay so that is what it will do now click on this nested columns again click on this uh, column setting now go to design go to padding and type in six percentage of padding for all okay six percentage for all fine and type in margin zero over here also okay because we were here also we don't want any gap at the top of this we want this thing to stick to this thing so here also margin top and bottom zero click on save save again okay now what you have to do we have to add some gap at the top and add some gap at the bottom okay so padding top six percent padding bottom six percent okay or you can enter any number for example 30 pixels 50 pixels it's all up to you click on save click on update again now we should see the changes and everything should be fine let's refresh this page okay guys now as you can see this looks amazing this looks beautiful 
okay so now i hope you like the way i am teaching because i think the student should know the person who is creating the website should know what he is doing okay that's why i am doing the mistake uh, purposely and then i'm showing you how to correct that okay so we have successfully created this page so this is how you create a portfolio fine guys so you can create many different portfolios like this now let's add this section this portfolio section to our home page okay so let's come to this home page now let's delete this now let's click on this uh, open this thing in a new tab which says edit page so let's edit our home page again now let's see what all we have done so we have done till uh, here counter box okay let's see what we have after counter box so after counter box we again have this thing title subtitle and so on then portfolio and then this section we'll add this section later okay come back to this home page section let it reload okay scroll down okay so you know now we don't have to create this section again just copy the title section which we saved click on container library container click on topic uh, sorry title so we have this thing over here now let's add these portfolios we have created only one portfolio but i have shown you how to create a portfolio you can create n number of portfolios with that now create create click on this add columns single column add element portfolio fine now grid this is the grid type as you can see okay picture size auto number of columns 3 column spacing you can increase this or decrease this it's all up to you i am putting 30 post per page we want only 3 over here so just type in 3 okay show filters no what are filters we'll see that later when we create the uh, work page there we'll use all these filters okay then everything is fine okay everything looks fine just click on save now we have this section the last section okay so again click on these columns now select one by three one by three one by three why let's see select the first one click on add element select separator let's see over here i don't know whether if you can see or not there is a very thin line over here and over here so very thin separator over here and here and there is a button in between okay so let's add that separator single border solid uh, design a very this is the color we want uh, f5 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 very uh, light color this line okay then you can select any margin top bottom let's select 30 pixels bottom border size let's select 2 we don't want any icon with 100% okay 100% sorry fine now select center align click on save clone this thing so that we don't have to create it again make the take this thing over here at the left and now let's add this button over here so click on this middle select this middle column click on this add element click on this button button url you can put any button url button text is says view all projects so that's type in view all projects fine then what all we have we have go to design okay select custom if you see the button color is white actually the, it has does not have any color and then when we hover this it becomes yellow so let's do that button color is white so let's select this white button over here again select this white and when we hover the hover gradient color should uh, here it is button gradient hover color it should become yellow fine so let's put yellow again fine accent color when we don't hover the normal time it is black okay so it is black both the time when we hover or when we don't hover it is black so let's select black from here okay we don't have any borders that is fine extra large button okay rest everything is fine just click on save update and let's see the changes just refresh this page 
okay actually there is some mistake over here we forgot to put this thing uh, the uh, featured image for this one it has a featured image we forgot to put the footer uh, featured image for portfolio so let's do that uh, come back to your dashboard uh, click on this portfolio open this in a new tab again click on this edit button okay scroll down let's see where we have here is the featured image just select this upload image select any featured image you like so let's search for good featured image okay let's select this one click on open again click on set featured image update this thing let's come back to the website home page refresh this page now as you can see we have the featured image so this is how you do it uh, and this is the button as you can see so we also have the button we have everything over here fine and here is the uh, slider if you i don't know if you could say this or this is too light i think you should make sure guys you use a good color uh, a, a little darker gray because i don't think you can see it over here okay so for that you can use a darker gray color okay now let's see the next section this is the R core, core value section okay but if you see below this section there is some gap the white gap so let's add some gap below this okay below this section so what we will do we will add some gap at uh, below this main section go to design and bottom it should be around 50 pixels and let's see whether we need any top so let's add some uh, space over here also at the top let's add 30 pixels over here click on save click on update refresh your home page and we should see the changes okay well, guys as you can see we have some uh, spacing over here and then we have this thing and then we have some spacing at the bottom also okay so this looks fine now let's add this section our core value section again come back to this home page scroll down click on add new container okay first let's add this section so library container title we already have this okay we just have to change the title it says our core values okay so select this edit this one and instead of this just type in our core values and make this thing as center align click on save now let's add these things okay so click on add columns single column and these things are called content boxes so just click on add element search for con content boxes here it is now box layout select classic icon on top okay number of columns select four because here we have four different columns as you can see now title size let it be 18 pixel that would be fine okay title font color is black here also we have black that is fine then we have body font color then content background color icon color okay it is white which is fine okay icon background set to yes fine rest everything looks fine icon background in a radius we don't want any radius so just we don't want any border so just put in zero okay i can size make this as 60 okay i can size should be 60 i can hover animation it should be pulsate so as you can see the animation over here is pulsate and select this pulsate animation color fine okay rest everything looks good Mm, fine okay now let's start adding these things click on this edit button first title so this is the title which says great services just enter that over here content box background color so this is the content box background color there's no background color so that's fine leave it icon we have this home icon so search for home over here select this icon scroll down flip icon none rotate icon none spinning icon none icon color is white so just select this click on this white 
icon background color is different if you if you uh, know sometimes if you see for example if you want the same background color but if you don't know what this background color is so what you can do is just right click over here and click on inspect okay once you do so at here you'll see this color okay so this is the color and similarly you can do this for all these colors or wherever you need okay in any website okay so that is really helpful fine now let's come back over here I can background color put this okay I can background inner border radius we don't want anything so just put zero okay your content goes here so this is the thing that will come over there just type in over here and just click on save similarly you can create different columns so we are just cloning this three times so that you don't have to create this again and again click on save okay everything looks fine and we need this background color if you see the above background color is normal white but this is not white this is gray so let's do that select this container setting background background color and make this f5 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 i'm sorry f5 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 for light gray color click on save click on update and let's refresh the page and i hope everything would be fine okay let's scroll down here as you can see guys everything is fine we have this background color over here we have these icons and when we cover them we see this different beautiful animation okay so we are done with this section also obviously you don't have to clone you have to use different icons every time but i just to save your and my time i create just clone this same icon four times okay now let's create this section the testimonial section so come back to this page scroll down click on this add container single column first we'll have to add this design so for that click on this add element search for section separator sorry okay big half circle bottom and background color this time should be this color as you can see over here this color is same okay so background color should be f5 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 so that it matches with the uh, above section background color okay rest everything is fine just click on save okay now what we have we have to add this title and this separator so let's again click on this container library container select this title okay now from this let's select this one over here okay let's first add a column over here single column and from this drag this title and drag this separator because we don't and this time we don't need this uh, subtitle over here so let's delete this whole container okay so now we have this design we have the title we have the separator so now let's see what uh, is the next thing that we have to add now we have to add this testimonial section so come back over here scroll down click on add column single column okay click on add element and search for testimonials okay now the design is clean background color we don't have any background color so just select this and make this thing to the bottom okay text color is white so select this and select white from here then we have random order it's all up to you okay element visibility this is all fine just click on this edit button to edit the testimonial now let's see this is the name of the person so in the name just type in this avatar just select image because we have an image as the avatar okay now click on this upload image select the image of that person okay here it is fine click on insert into page now here it asks for border radius just type in round over here because if you see this is a square image but we here we have a round image so just type in round and it will make this image as round okay company you can uh, put in the company link over there testimonial content just type in this content fine and make this thing uh, center align obviously okay everything looks fine okay something is missing no nothing is missing just click on save 
now we can add different testimonials so i'm just uh, uh, duplicating this testimonial now click on save and now let's uh, add this background color over here this background image if you see over here okay so select this container setting background background image let's search for that image okay this is the one click on open insert into page save save scroll up update come back uh, reload this page and we should see the changes over here okay guys as you can see we have all these changes over here it looks awesome so this is how you do it okay now let's see what is the next section okay this is the next section latest news these are basically our post our articles that we have written or we have typed so before creating we need to create some post obviously okay so again come back over here now here you'll see this post option at the left hand side just hover that and enter click on this add new in a new tab now let's see how a post looks like first of all let's open this thing okay guys as you can see this is how a single post looks like uh, this is the title if you remember whenever we create a new page uh, we were hiding the page title if you don't do this this is how it looks like but we in post we don't have to hide the page title because we want uh, people to know what is the title of the post okay so this is the page title we have our post over here and this is the sidebar okay so let's start creating the post it is really simple and not really important uh, in terms of website okay so let's this is the uh, title as I said, let's copy and paste this title over here Okay, then you don't need a fusion builder over here. Okay, this is all simple thing now a Standard thing should be selected from your from format Now you can add any category for example, let's see whether it, which category it falls under Say for example, let's add a commercial category. Okay, so let's type in commercial and this is this category this commercial category is different from that we created okay that was for portfolio this is for post so this is different fine okay now the post disable first featured image set yes we want to disable that use 100 percent with page if you do so then you won't see these things you now this sidebar over here you won't see that so i would say no which is set to no fine now you can see all these things over here so social uh, share bar i don't want that a related post no not exactly because this is a single post we don't want all these things or we have let's see whether we have it or not so we have the related post over here so let's enable that okay and we have this share icon over here so let's enable both of those okay let's everything looks fine let's see the featured image so this is the featured image let's okay make sure just put this no disable featured image no we don't we don't want disable featured image we want to show this featured image over here or if we find any problem then we can do this changes later on okay now let's set the featured image upload files okay let's search for that one this is the one just select and click on open set featured image okay now page zero zero again now page title here we don't have to do anything now fine it should be default now this is where you have to type in the post for example here this is the post now let me first copy everything and okay okay let me okay fine let me show you for example just type in some text over here you just typed in some text and for example you want to make this text bigger like we have over here you know this is a big text and this is normal text so this is all normal text but i want to make this text because what i do just select this and from here i select heading 2 okay so this would become something like this and you can add an image over here so to add an image just press enter click on add media and you can add any image for example let's add this image over here so just click on insert into post 
this image is added okay and after that suppose what we have we, if you want to make these things you want to have different bullet points then what you can do is let's copy something for example let's copy this text paste it over here let's make it into different bullet points for example 1.2.3 and let this be the fourth point fine now we want to add bullet points over here so what you can do just select everything and over here we have this bullet list just select this and here everything will become something like this now this is a block code so let's first select some single simple text okay paste it over here now suppose i want to make this text as block code i uh, like this okay so what i do i just select everything and over here you see this block code just click on that and this will become like this okay rest everything is just normal stuff okay it is not rocket science or something this was really easy now once you're done just click on publish now view this post in a new tab okay so this is how it looks like okay we have our featured image then we have this thing over here okay this we put this as uh, s2 if you uh, h2 if you remember then this image this list this block quote okay and this is this sidebar fine you can add uh, you can make changes in the sidebar through here uh, go to appearances hover appearances under that you have widgets okay so this is the block side but you have to do all these changes over here for example if you see over here search recent post so here it will be, it will be search then recent post and so on you can see now if you want to delete this recent post from here just select this delete it and suppose if you want to add something like calendar over there so what you do just drag this calendar and from just put it over here okay now let's refresh and see whether that change has taken place or not okay so as you can see now we have the calendar we don't have those recent post so this is how you make changes in the sidebar fine guys so we have created a post we have seen how to make change in the sidebar now let's add this post in the home page okay let's first come to the home page let's see how it looks like okay here it is let's add those posts over here so again just delete this delete this again this is our home page fine scroll down okay first click on add container library and title okay because we have this title and so on from here now let's change the title text to latest news okay let's copy this thing from here paste it over here center align save okay then we have this thing the post the block element so again click on this column add new column click on add element search for blog this is the one now don't select large select grid from here okay number of grid layouts of columns three grid layout column spacing you can put 30 40 whatever you want spacing post per page we want three fine then 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 everything should be fine show thumbnail yes this is the thumbnail so we can see the thumbnail show title yes we are sh uh, seeing the title over here okay then we have link to the post yes we want to link to the post uh, show excerpt so this is the excerpt as you can see we have the excerpt 35 40 whatever you want okay show metadata show author name you can hide or uh, something comment uh, suppose you want to hide these things show category author name then you can hide those things okay then show tags we don't want to see tags no pagination okay okay so this is it i guess this is how it should look like yeah just click on save okay fine so we have entered this thing over here also now let's save and see the changes so just click on this update button let's come back to the home page refresh and hopefully we should see the changes now okay as you can see guys we have we can see the changes over here okay we have only one post that's why it's it's, it's showing only one post if you have multiple posts three posts it will show three posts okay now let's see the next section okay so the see here again we have this so you can just copy that from above section from uh where is that section gone from this section and just paste it over here fine so you can do that easily now let's add this section 
trusted partner section come back to the home page again scroll down okay click on this add container single okay first we have to add the title so just delete this again click on this add container library container title just change the title to trusted partners okay now let's add this thing image carousel so click on this add column single column click on this add element and search for image carousel the first one okay bulk image upload let's upload all the images which you want so just click on this upload file select files here are all the images as you can see just click on open click on insert into post let's add one more image actually because we have only five we want six so just add one more image okay so we have all the images over here select them click on insert into post okay picture size fixed hover type you can select any hover type if you want autoplay you can set to yes or no maximum columns as you can see one two three four five so you can set this to five column spacing 13 fine scroll items one what does that mean when we scroll through mouse we can scroll one at a time as you can see one at a time okay so that is what it means show navigation no as you can see we don't have any navigation we don't want to spoil this design mouse scroll yes as i showed you we can scroll through mouse here and there so yes border we don't want any border fine okay rest everything is fine just click on save let's update and see the changes over here okay let's refresh this page okay so as you can see we have this trusted partner section over here beautiful section but oh uh, yeah this is fine everything looks fine so with this we have completed the home page and home page was the uh, longest page and this actually do, uh, does 90% of our work because uh, now most of the page will require most of the files from the home page okay so we don't have to do all these things again and again we'll just copy everything from home page and just stick them to different pages now let's see which page we have to create now now let's see the about us page okay so come back to the dashboard click on this button about us page okay just enter the title about or about us whatever you want okay template 100 percent width obviously you know that slider you can create a slider for this about page also it's all up to you i will obviously not create that again and again so what i'll do is i'll just use the same slider which i used on home page page go to and just type in zero percent padding for both top and bottom okay and hide the page title fine now just enable this fusion builder and let's see first we have this so we have put this thing now the next section is this too we already have this so let's click on add container top one again add container library container top two okay so we have added this and this now this also we have title so again click on add container library container title we just have to change the title to building inspiring spaces fine just click on this button paste it over here align center fine now let's add this image so just add this add a new column single column add element search for image frame select this upload the image upload file select the file okay this is the file just select it click on up open now click on insert into page fine center alignment and rest everything is fine just click on save now let's see what we have we have this thing meet uh, our team section but before that we have this design is uh, if you could see this so let's add that design first click on add container single column click on this add element and search for section separator okay we have big half circle bottom background color we'll put this background color over here okay white 
so put in white over here fine click on save now let's add this section again over here title subtitle fine so add a new container we are adding a new container just to copy we don't need a new container just to copy title subtitle from that that container from here okay select title okay as i said just oh, uh, add a new column in the above container and just copy this title subtitle okay your con separator and subtitle from your and now we don't need this container so just delete it so we have these things now let's add this person so again click on columns now click on these three columns fine select the first column add element search for person okay select this name of the person so let's george johnson title his commercial director whatever it is then we have this thing short description just add that okay picture just upload that guy's picture that man's picture actually this is the person just click on open click on insert into page scroll down picture url you can link this picture to some url hover type you can just have a hover uh, animation over here background color if you see over here the background color over here is white and the background color for this section is gray okay so gray background for section and for this person white so select white from here okay and just put this thing to the top alignment center picture style color leave it leave it leave everything else social icon position uh, it is set to top okay it is top fine that is fine box social icons select yes okay social icon radius you can select any radius you want fine then we have social icon custom colors and social icon box colors for example over here if you see social icon color is white okay so what you can do is just type in white fine but you know what there are if you are using different icons and if you want different color for different icons then you can put this uh, pipe icon and this pipe icon and add in different colors for example for both the colors i am for both the icons if i want white then i'll put this white color over here social icon social icon custom box color so box color is yellow as you can see so what i can do i can just put in yellow okay for both so i'm putting yellow for both fine social icon tooltip position is set to top now select any put any three icon or any four icon five icon whatever you want or your instagram icon or instagram link rss link skype link whatever link you want okay fine after you do so just click on save and similarly you can create three or four or unlimited persons you want fine so we have created this person and after that you just have to copy this recent work from home page and paste it over here and similarly this testimonial from home page paste it over here and trusted partner from home page paste it over here and copy this uh, from portfolio this whole section and paste it over here okay guys so let's save uh, publish this thing okay let's open this page in a new tab okay guys this is how it looks like we have everything which we needed okay i think we missed something again like it happens all the time we missed this background color over here so let's put that okay this is the section select this container setting background background color f5 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 for light gray color click on save again click on update again come back to this page refresh and hopefully this time or everything should be fine okay so now everything is fine you can see this background color here it is white here it is gray so everything is fine it looks awesome and you know guys how i have shown you how to save container so what you can do just go to home page save this recent work container paste it over here save this uh, uh, testimonial container paste it over here like we are doing for title uh, and these two sections top and top one and top two sections so you can do the same thing uh, for here and you'll need to do the same thing for different pages for example now let's create the next page the services page 
okay as i said you mean once you create the home page everything is easy for you because we are using most of the thing again and again okay so again come back to your dashboard click on this add new page enter services at the top title as services fine template 100 percent width sidebar you can create a sidebar for services and enter that we want zero padding top and bottom for page okay page title just hide that okay now let's see what we have over here so again we have these two things at the top so just enable fusion builder from here okay add container okay not this one we just have to add a container from library top one again click on add container library container top two now let's see what we have after this so we have directly this thing the tab section so what you have to do just click on this container single column click on this add element and search for tabs this is the one select this design clean layout horizontal vertical so it is vertical justify tabs yes because as you can see all the tabs are of equal size so justify background color okay control the background tab color leave empty for default or default color see the background color if you see this is different so just put that background color inactive background color is gray light gray so just put that also fine border color we don't have any border color so just make this thing down okay rest everything is fine let's first create the first one services overview so just type in services overview over here i'm sorry type in services over overview over here we don't have any icon just copy everything or whatever you want to type you can create a post you know, just like we created a post you just have to create a post and paste everything over here okay click on save now similarly you can create different services i'm just copying and pasting it over here click on save click on publish and everything should be fine let's see open this services page in a new tab okay so we have the slider we have this we have okay as you can see we have the same that's why it is uh, showing the same thing if we had different things it would show different things let's add some gap at the top so what you can do come over here click on this row container design top padding let's add uh, 40 pixels for this it's all up to you you can add 30 40 50 anything i thought 40 would be nice that why that's why i added 40 now again let's refresh this page okay so we can have uh, we have this uh, setting over here so this is this was the services page and again everything in the bottom is present you just have to copy and paste it okay now let's see the work page again come back over here click on add new page let's get rid of these pages now put in the title as work or work page whatever you want okay template 100 percent width slider same slider page we don't want any padding for top or bottom so zero top zero for bottom page title just hide it okay come over here use fusion builder again we have the same settings over here so click on this add container library container top one add container library container top two so we have this both one and two now this is what we have to add so again click on this add container single column add element and this is portfolio okay we have actually created only one portfolio but this is portfolio now this is grid fine size is auto number of columns we have only two columns so two column spacing 20 okay fine let's make it 30 you can make it 20 30 whatever you want 
per post per page if you want 8 if you want 10 you can increase or decrease that show filters yes now let me show you this is what the filters are you can filter it according to different portfolio categories okay now show pagination you can show pagination if you want let's see we don't have over here but let's uh, i'll show you when if you enable this what happens okay now everything looks fine just click on save come over here click on publish now let's view this page in a new tab okay as you can see we because we have only one that's why we are seeing only one over here okay and after that you just have to add those same settings trusted partners and this one okay now let's see the articles page okay so again come back to the dashboard click on add new page let's get rid of this work page type in articles post whatever you like i'm typing articles articles fine now let's see the first section is same and then we have the articles fine so first 100 percent width let's add the slider no page padding top or bottom we don't want the uh this title bar so just hide that fusion builder on container from library container top one fine then again container library container top two now let's add this blog okay so again click on add container single click on add element and search for blog this is the one large yes select large number of posts to show per page six okay you can select all this order by descending or ascending show thumbnail yeah we can uh, see the thumbnail over here show title yeah we have the title over here as you can see this is the excerpt this is the author these are different tags this is the read more text okay so you can uh, select accordingly whatever you want if you don't want anything if suppose this is the author name nayar sheik if you don't want this just make this no and that will be done okay fine everything looks fine just click on save okay and if you see uh, there is a good amount of gap or padding uh, about this so let's add that y you can add this kind of padding uh, padding both from your or from your okay top padding so let's add it from your top padding let's make it 50 pixels click on save and there is also some settings over here there is a lot of gap from both the sides so there is around 15 percent gap from both the sides if you see uh, like we created for the title the title has 15 percent gap from both the sides so this is same for the this also okay so just go, click on this edit design padding left and right should be 15 percentage okay both left and right 15 percentage just click on save click on publish now let's view this page so open this link in a new tab so as you can see this looks awesome if you don't put that 15 percent from both the side this would be really big like covering the whole whole page okay so this is this was the article page do we have anything below this okay this page is fine there is nothing below these articles okay now let's create the last page the get quote page so let's click on that come back to your website dashboard click on this add new page you can also add a new page from here obviously just click on anywhere you want enter the title get code or whatever title you like okay template 100 percent width obviously slider fusion slider select your slider page zero bottom padding zero bottom top okay hide this title bar enable fusion builder okay now obviously the first two will be okay here we don't have that top one top two so we don't have to put this we just have to put this thing so if you see this whole page is divided into two different sections okay and i think it is one by three and two by three okay yeah it is one by three and two by three fine so click on this add container select one by three two by three wherever it is okay 
here it is 1 by 3 2 by 3 and here this is what you have to type first there is a simple text so just click on add element search for text block okay type in the text click on save then we have this separator add element search for separator fine no style single border layout design select the color fine then you can add some margin bottom top whatever you want border size 2 pixels like we always have 30 pixels width for this one because this is quite small very small okay and alignment should be left as you can see it is left aligned click on save so we have this now let's add these things these things are checklist so search for checklist over here here it is icon color is something like this gray color so select that checklist circle no this is not circle icon so just select no item size for 13 you can let's select 14 or 15 just to make it a little bigger okay let rest everything looks fine just click on this add or edit element to uh, do this first one is home icon and we have this text over here so let's search for home icon over here okay home icon selected from here okay deselected again select it over here and enter your text over here click on save similarly you can do it as many times as you want click on save fine now what you have to do you have to do these things again okay if you see we have these things again so just copy these three things again and paste it and you can change the same settings over here okay again if you because we have the same thing the title separator and checklist title separator checklist okay now let's add an element to this one here it is this what do you call it title section so we don't what we do is we add a new container just to copy the title section okay select title okay select copy this title from here paste it over here copy this separator paste it over here copy this paste it over here now delete this container we don't need this so we have all these three things now we need to add this thing the contact code okay so click on add element search for code block and again go to that contact page copy that uh, same code paste it over here click on save and this is background color is fine and we have some gap over here as you can see so let's add some gap click on this design top padding let's make it 60 pixels click on save and everything looks fine so let's click on publish now let's view this page in a new tab okay guys so with this we have created this thing also the last page also now let's create the menu okay so come back to the dashboard hover appearances and click on menus and let's come to home page from here okay there is also one problem we haven't set the home page as the home page matlab we have created the home page but that is not our home page technically so we have to do that so what you can do just click on this customize button click on this static front page a static page select front page and select this home page from here okay and select post page and select articles from here fine click on save and publish now come back go to site identity and if you remember we didn't do any uh, settings while uh, uh, purchasing the TMD hosting so here you can name your site name and you can also name your tagline from here and you can also uh, upload your fav icon from here okay so once you do so just look, uh, click on this X button so now we have our home page so this is basically our home page now okay now go come over here in the menus name any menu for example main menu or main whatever you can create it primary menu you can give it any name you want okay now make sure this main navigation is selected from here now let's see what all we have we have the home page about us page services page all these pages so let's select all this page and select everything from here okay 
we have the home page at the top and the get code page at the bottom okay and the get code page is actually a button so let's do that so just expand this thing click on this avada options and from here style select button large or button extra large and click on save click on save menu now come back to the website and just refresh the website everything should be fine that's right okay i think we have added this home page two times okay here it is so just delete this from here again click on save menu again refresh this website okay everything looks fine okay guys now let's uh, do this the footer setting we don't have anything in the footer yet as you can see here we have a lot of things in the foot footer so again come back to the dashboard and how our appearances again click on widgets okay now here you'll see footer widget 1 widget footer widget 2 and 3 now what you have to do scroll down select this this text and select footer widget 1 and click on add widget okay now go to the css file and there you will find the footer widget okay here it is footer widget 1 select everything go to this text section okay make sure you are under text section paste everything fine and click on save and obviously you can make all the changes this is basically this so if you want to make these changes over here you can select that uh, from here here it is we are specialist in whatever it is just you can change all this text okay from here so that is how you do it click on save now select footer widget 2 and we have to add the twitter or facebook whatever plugin you want you you can just you uh, up, uh, update that for example let's select this avada twitter footer widget 2 click on add widget and you have to first set up an avada twitter widget so just click on this link uh, just follow all these steps and you will create a key over here okay that is really easy so you can do that by yourself now the third one is this contact us today so this is the code over here so just copy this code again come back over here select the widget text from here now select photo widget 3 click on add widget again go to the text section paste everything and obviously from here if you want to change anything you can change it for example re residential location you can if you want to put your own location just delete this and type in your own location here is the email address just delete this type in your own own email address okay now click on save and the last one is a map so what you can do just open a new tab type in map.google.com and select the map from here for example i want this map so and go to menu okay and here share or embed map just click on that click on this embed map section copy this code come back over here to the widgets again go to text now this time select photo widget 4 click on add widget again go to text section paste everything and instead of width 400 type in 350 okay and instead of height 450 type in 275 okay so it would look something like this now click on save now go to your website refresh and let's see what happens okay as you can see you have this thing over here okay you have this thing over here and this is the map but we miss some things for example we forgot to put this thing title so let's put this title in the widget okay here you have this title and in the second widget here is the title option so just you can put in contact us today okay put the title over here fine here also you can put some title okay now we are missing some designing thing over here for example if you see this looks very simple the recent twist but, uh, but here the latest tweets this is yellow color this is bold the uh, the font is also different so let's see the footer changes now okay make sure you save everything till now now what you have to do come back to this website your dashboard again how our appearance how our avada and select theme options okay from here select footer here it is 
and hover footer and select this footer styling fine now first make this thing on 100% footer width and now we have to change all these padding settings so first uh, top padding make this as 80 pixels then 4 percentage okay then 70 pixels then again 4 percentage okay so basically you know what this is by now you should know okay now let's change all these things the uh, title this uh, font from here so footer typography let's change this so select this and select Montserrat M O N T S E R R A T. Okay, the Arial family. Fine, bold seven hundred. As you can see in this uh, website over here, it is quite bold. Okay, you can see all these changes over here also. Okay, now instead of thirteen pixels, make it fifteen pixels. Okay, now let's change this font color to our favorite color okay so now this would look something like this after doing this just click on save changes again come back to this blog refresh the website and now as you can see we have this option over here so this is this looks nice now let's change this bottom footer as you can see over here it says copyright 2012 17 awada you want your own company name over here okay so what you can do just uh, come back to this same setting go to footer content scroll down and here it is so, so suppose I don't want this 2012 so I just delete it and instead of Avada I want to put in my company name for example blog dude okay sorry instead of Avada just type in blog dude fine all right reserved powered by I don't want WordPress over here so I can just delete all these things over here powered by thing fine then you can delete this theme fusion thing also if you want okay then we have this much copyright 2017 block to all right reserved just click on save changes again refresh your website okay now you have it over here everything looks fine Okay guys, so this is how you create a website using Wabada theme. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also give a thumbs up to this video. And you can also comment in the video uh, in uh, below this video. If you have any doubt, if you, uh, if, you, if you are stuck up anywhere, you can comment. And I would be more than happy to help you guys. Okay, so this was it for this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks a lot for watching.